Moonshine gets moonshinier, and New Belgium hits the tropics, all in the latest edition of The Drinkable Week. Happy New Year! I'm Jeff Cialetti, author of The Year of Drinking Adventurously, and welcome to the first edition of The Drinkable Week for 2016. We begin this edition in Tennessee's Smoky Mountains, where the Old Smoky Distillery announces that it's upping the proof on its apple pie moonshine. The spirit, crafted to evoke the flavor and aroma of apple pie cooling on the windowsill, originally clocked in at a modest 20% ABV, or 40 proof. Well, it's got a bit more of a kick now, with an ABV considerably closer to whiskey at 35%, or 70 proof. Old Smoky CEO John Cochran attributes the change to Millennials' desire for a more potent kick. I'll hold my tongue about Millennials deserving a potent kick. Since I'm in an apple moonshine state of mind, let's stay in Old Smoky's hometown of Gatlinburg for a moment and showcase a new entry from another local producer. Sugarland's Distilling Company announced that its latest offering marries the orchard and baking inspired tradition with one of the hottest segments in spirits right now, rye whiskey. For its rye apple release, Sugarland's collaborated with legendary distillers Digger Mains and Mark Ramsey, who have been prominently featured on the Discovery Channel show Moonshiners. Let's leave the Smokies and head to the Rockies for this next bit of news from New Belgium. And no, I'm not going to comment about the rumors that the Fort Collins Brewery might be exploring a sale. Instead, I want to talk about New Belgium's newest year-round offering, Citradella Tangerine IPA which, as the name suggests, combines citra hops with actual tangerine. It has an ABV of 6% and an IBU of 50. It should appeal to drinkers who prefer the tropical fruit components of hops and not just their tongue-numbing bitterness. It's the latest sign that the once Belgian-style exclusive brewery has gone all in on the hoppier side of the spectrum. And Moonshine Rye and American Craft Beer all feature prominently in my book, The Year of Drinking Adventurously. Available now from Turner Publishing, wherever fine books are sold. And on that note, I say cheers to the year. As always, I invite you to follow me on Twitter at Jeff Cialetti and Drinkable Globe, and on Instagram at Drinking Adventurously. And remember, grab the world by the glass. <laughs>